This is Iwama town in Ibaraki prefecture, the home of Aiki, where late Mr. Morihei Ueshiba, founder of Aikido, devoted himself to years of intensive training. This shrine, dedicated to the deity of Aiki, is the symbol of Aikido, a martial art which sets out to protect peace and order on earth. In 1941, the founder moved over to Iwama town and established a martial art embodying all the ingredients of its own and every other martial art. This all-embracing art was named Aikido, which is characterized by Takemusu Aiki, or Martial Aiki. What then was the founder's concept of Aikido? Here's a lesson worth remembering. When you are lost, get back to basics. Through this movie, we want to take another look at Aikido with the eyes of an unspoiled beginner. Suburi is an act of swinging a wooden sword about one meter long, up and down, without your partner. It is a basic exercise embodying the secrets of Japanese swordsmanship. Swing the sword over your head, with your left hand holding the rear end of the hilt, and your right hand touching the forward part lightly. As you swing the sword down, start gripping it with the little finger, followed by the other fingers. By so doing, the sword will stay within the center line of the body. Such suburi helps the trainee build a stabilized posture in taijutsu, or empty-handed aikido exercises. This form of suburi requires twisting your hips as you draw your right foot back, and swinging the sword over your head while staying clear of the line of your opponent's thrusting attack. Tanden Uchi is a more effective exercise than Suburi in stabilizing your hips because you have to have a firm hold on the sword and lower your hips to avoid being repelled. The secret of this kokyu ho lies in splitting and imparting the ken gripping art to your both hands. This exercise cannot be performed properly unless your hands, feet and other parts of the body act in unison. This kokyu ho, which is a must in day-to-day -day Aikido training, serves to build by degrees abdominal breath power and establish a complete interface between Suburi and Taijutsu. Here's a concrete example demonstrating the relationship between Suburi and Taijutsu. The fairly firm hold applied by the opponent goes unheeded altogether. As shown here, the Suburi motions can be applied to Taijutsu without the slightest difficulty because of their harmonious blend and freedom from conflict with the force of the opponent. This particular exercise is called Shiho Nage.
aligning your toes and turning your body the minute the holding starts is called urawaza or turning technique. Shihonage, as a matter of fact, is the outgrowth of the Japanese fencing art. Aikido techniques, be they omote waza or urawaza, are essentially designed to cope with multiple attacks. Their techniques, of course, can equally be applied to one attacker as well. Kote gaeshi, or wrist twist, which also bears resemblance to the Japanese fencing art, is being introduced here after omote waza and urawaza. Body movements required at a time when you are surrounded by enemies on all sides can also be explained with a theory of the Japanese fencing art. Intensive study is required regarding a variety of irimi, or entering techniques and body turns. Aikido is Taijutsu translated from the Japanese fencing art and vice versa. This film is going to introduce Awaseho, or how to blend your ki, or spiritual energy, with your opponents, Kumitachi, or sword engagements in partner practice and its variations, as well as Tachidori, or sword taking. Awase means blending your ki with your partner's. As a consequence, your movements are synchronized with his. Awase ho, introduced here, is mainly an analyzed version of kimusubi no tachi or key blending swordsmanship. It features ample use of the body to augment the effectiveness of ken as typified in irimi or entering movements into the rear of the partner. Awaseho requires a good amount of training as a prerequisite to the next more sophisticated exercise Kumitachi. This is Kumitachi. Kimusubi no tachi. 
first kumitachi, second kumitachi, third kumitachi, fourth kumitachi, fifth kumitachi. These represent a series of kumitachi variations from ichi no tachi or first saw demonstration to go no tachi two variations each are demonstrated a variation of the first strike and another variation of the second strike These variations are instantly adaptable to Taijutsu, the Kumitachi techniques, when implemented according to the principle of Aiki, ramify into all sorts of variations, bringing under control the arm, elbow and foot of your opponent. These varied techniques are considered most suitable in making your opponent aware that might is not everything. Tachidori is a sword-taking technique which is applied when you have to face your opponent empty-handed. This technique calls for advancing rightward with your right foot or leftward with your left foot in a move to subdue your opponent. There is no set rule as such governing the body movements in this regard. These movements are really free and uninhibited. However, Kokyu Nage or abdominal breath throw, kotegaeshi and irimi techniques are all based on the principle of Aiki which purports a blending of your and your opponent's key. Tachidori may be regarded as a process of transition to Taijutsu. It also could be a process of letting us discard our inclination to depend on arms. Aikido shall not be treated as a sport for the simple reason that the art lumps together in an undistinguishable lot those techniques which are dangerous and those which are not. The severity of the art requires serious and earnest training. Because of such characteristic, Aikido will constantly provide its trainees with a major guideline toward attainment of their objectives. Aikido is a way of life which is unlimited both in depth and mileage.
It is in this peaceful, natural environment that the Aiki Shrine and the Ibaraki Dojo, which we are going to visit, are located. It is the Dojo of Takemusu Aiki, a concept which was espoused by the late founder of Aikido, Morihei Ueshiba. The pious founder is said to have received in December 1940 a divine instruction to build immediately a shrine and the Takemusu Aiki Dojo. The founder at that time was energized with power throughout his body and was able to create effortlessly one technique after another at divine will. At 2 a.m. on December the 14th, he began his Ken training with what looked like a shadow of himself as a partner. Two weeks later, the founder experienced a merger with the universe and shed tears of joy, saying that he had finally touched the soul of martial arts. We create better people, but not 